Overwhelmed by tangled tasks and unclear workflows? Drowning in a sea of disorganized steps and scattered information? Is confusion costing your team time and resources? There is an easy solution. Flow diagrams are your secret weapon for optimizing processes and boosting efficiency. What exactly is a flow diagram though? It's a clear visual representation of any process, from order fulfillment to improving quality control. Also known as flowcharts, they're a powerful tool for optimizing the pathways of people, objects, or information through a system or procedure, breaking down steps, highlighting decision points, and revealing the exact flow of data and actions. Flow diagrams aren't a one-size-fits-all solution though. There are specialized diagrams to meet your specific needs. These are the big seven. Data flow diagrams, sometimes referred to as DFDs, track data movement within systems or processes. These are further divided into logical and physical data flow diagrams, each illustrating data flow from different perspectives. Logical DFDs focus on business operations and information flow, while physical DFDs highlight implementation details, such as hardware and software. You'll find these used in software engineering, development and computer programming, as well as in managing business processes. Workflow diagrams map out team tasks and responsibilities, and are helpful in IDing office bottlenecks, as well as onboarding. Swim lane flowcharts are for visualizing how different roles operate and intertwine in a process. They are used to optimize cross-team projects. Process flow diagrams capture the overall flow of any procedure, including sub-processes, as a means to improve it. Coming from the world of mechanical engineering, process diagrams are useful across all industries for developing, standardizing, and streamlining processes. Event-driven process chains model business processes as a chain of events that influence each other. Great for modeling and analyzing business operations and resource planning. Specification and description language diagrams translate technical requirements and specs into visual form. These are most often used in industries with complex systems like telecoms, aviation, and medicine. Unified modeling language diagrams illustrate software systems and their interactions, like data flow diagrams, UML diagrams fork into two distinct types. Structural diagrams, which visualize the static structure of a system, and behavioral diagrams, which highlight the dynamic behavior of a system over time. All right, so lots of ways to use these puppies, but why actually bother mapping out all of that stuff? Here are six beefy reasons. Visualize ideas. Complex systems, flows, and processes become clearer when you can see all the steps. Collaborate with teams and stakeholders. Share clarity, not confusion. Make better decisions. Analyze different paths and choose the best option. Identify issues. Spot bottlenecks and inefficiencies before they slow you down. Check progress. Track task completion and ensure processes and people stay on track. Organize workflows. Streamline processes and improve communication. Ready to optimize your processes, workflows, and beyond? With our Diagram Maker tool, you can easily create and customize flow diagrams that suit your specific needs. Streamline your operations, improve collaboration, and make data-driven decisions with confidence. Start optimizing today.